Good day, everyone. Before we start our lesson, Liza, can you lead the prayer? Ms. President, is Ms. Secretary, is there any absent today? Thank you. Does anyone know how investment work? Why do you think people are investing their money? Yes? How about bank loans? Very good. They earn by interest. Now, do you have any idea how simple interest is computed? Before we proceed on computing simple interest, let's talk about what is simple interest. Simple interest is a quick and easy method on calculating the interest charge on a loan or investment. We can calculate simple interest by using the formula simple interest is equals to P or the principal times R, the rate, times T or time. Ivan, can you read the example number one? Thank you. We can calculate this by using the simple interest formula, which is simple interest is equals to principal or the P, R or the rate, and time. What is the principal again? Thank you. So 50,000 times the rate is 0 0.05 or 5% times one year. So 50,000 times 0 0.05 is equals to 2,500. The simple interest of 50,000 with an interest rate of 5% in one year is 2,500. How about the example number two? The owner of X Sari Sari store wants to expand her business, but didn't have the money to do so. She decided to take a loan of 100,000, so the principal is 100,000, with an interest rate of 4% for in 5 years. How much will be the simple interest? So the time is 5 years. We can calculate this by substituting each value. So simple interest is equals to P R is equals to the principal is 100,000 times the rate is 4% so 0 0.04 times years is 5 years times 5 0 0.04 0 0 0.04 times 5 is 0 0.20 times 100,000 is equals to 20,000. So the simple interest of 100,000 with an interest rate of 4% in 5 years is 20,000. But what if the simple interest is given but the principal is unknown? Let's take the example number 2. So this, the simple interest in here is 20,000. Let's remove this. And the principal and the principal is unknown. Let's write down the formula for simple interest. Simple interest is equals to P R T. So we will substitute each given 
So simple interest is 20,000 is equals to the principal, which is unknown. So P times R or the rate is 0 0.04 or 4% per, or 4% times time is 5. So we will rewrite 20,000 is equals to P and 0 0.04 times 5 is 0 0.2 or 0 0.20. To remove 0 0.2 from P, we will divide each side to 0 0.2. Then we will have P equals to 20,000 times 0 0.2. Yes, Candice. Very good. It is 100,000. But what if the rate is unknown? So the principal is 100,000. Then we will remove this. So simple interest is 20,000 is equals to the principal 100,000 times the rate, the rate is unknown, so R times the time is 5. Then we will, then we will rewrite the simple interest, the 2,000 equals 100,000 times 5. 500,000. Then 500,000 R. To remove the 500,000, we will divide each side by 500,000. Then the rate is... 20,000 divided by 500,000 is equals to, very good, is, it is 0 0.04. Do you have any questions? Clarifications? Okay, let's proceed. Eileen, can you read what is amount? Very good. The amount is the sum of the principal and the simple interest. The formula for amount is amount is equals to principal times 1 plus rate times time. Or you can also use amount is equals to P or the principal plus simple interest. Or, or amount is equals to P plus P times R times T. But for now, we will use the formula. We will, but for now, we will use the amount is equals to principal times 1 plus rate times time. For example, Bank X is offering 500,000 loan. 500,000 loan with 7% interest to small businesses that are suffering due to the pandemic. What would be the total amount that the small business owner have to pay to the bank if the loan will last in four years. So the time is four years. We will substitute each value. So A is equals to P or the principal is 500,000 times 1 plus the rate is 7% or 0 
times the years or the times the ye times the time is four years. We will have five hundred thousand times one plus zero point zero seven times four is for zero point twenty eight. So we will have one point twenty eight times five hundred thousand is equals to yes I B. Very good. Six six hundred forty thousand. The bank, the small businesses owner have to pay six hundred forty thousand to the bank X. Eileen, can you read the example number two? Thank you. Miss Ira, what is the principal? Very good. So the principal is 20,000. How about the rate? Very good. So the rate is 0 0.04 or per or 4 percent and the time is two years. Now we will substitute each value. We will have A equals the principal is 20,000. Times 1 plus the rate is 0 0.04 times times the time is 2 years we will have 20,000 times 1 0 0.04 times 2 yes 0 0.08 then 20,000 times 1.08 is equals to 21,600. So the total amount Ivan have to pay home credit is 21,600. Do you have any questions? Let's have more example. If an amount of 600,000 is invested in a bank which promises to give 8% interest in 2 years, how much will be the simple interest and the total amount of the investment? So the question to ask is the simple interest and the total amount. But let's solve simple interest first. So simple interest is equals to P or the principal times rate and times time. So we will substitute each value. So P is 600,000 times the rate is times the rate is 8%, so 0 0.8, so 0 0.08 rather, times time is 2 years. So 600,000 times, 0 600, times 0 0.08 times 2 is, yes miss, very good, it is 96,000. So the simple interest is 96,000. Now we will solve for the total amount. Since we have the simple interest, we will just add the principal to the simple interest. So P plus simple interest is equals to the principal is 600,000 plus the simple interest is 96,000 is equals to 696,000. 
Number two, family A is interested in starting their own business. They borrowed three hundred thousand in a bank that gives three that gives three percent interest rate for eight years. What is the total amount to be paid by the family? So we will have A or total amount is equals to the principal is three hundred thousand times one plus the rate the rate is zero point zero three or three percent and the time is eight. It's equals to three hundred three hundred thousand plus one Plus zero point zero three times eight is zero point twenty four plus one is one point twenty four times three hundred thousand is equals to three hundred seventy two thousand. How about number three? How much is the simple interest if you take a loan of thirty-five thousand with seven percent interest for one year? So the sim. So simple interest is equals to the principal times rate times time is equals to the principal is thirty-five thousand. Times the rate is zero point zero seven. Times the the time is one year is equal to thirty five thousand times zero point thirty five thousand times zero point zero seven is yes, Miss Castillo. Very good. It is two thousand four hundred fifty. So the the simple interest of thirty five thousand loan with with seven percent interest in one year is two thousand four hundred fifty. Do you have any questions, clarifications? Okay, for your for your quiz, solve the following simple interest and the total amount of the following. Finish or not finish, please pass your paper. For your assignment, give at least two examples of simple interest. Goodbye class.